This is the Catholic Daily Journal for Sunday, May the 26th, 2019. It's the Feast of St. Philip Neri. He has the almost unbelievable title of Third Apostle of Rome, after St. Peter and St. Paul. He founded an order called the Congregation of the Oratory, but it wasn't your typical religious order for monks or nuns or brothers or sisters. It was an order for diocesan priests, that is, for priests who are ordained by local bishops and who spend their lives working in one place. These oratories can be set up in parish rectories or as separate parish churches within a larger city. Two of the biggest in the world are in London and Ontario, respectively. St. Philip Neri was known for having opposite extreme personality traits. He was intense, like fiery with searing eyes, and yet really joyful. He was neck deep in the politics of priests and bishops and popes while being entirely unambitious and constantly calling out sin where he saw it. He had a playful sense of humor and a biting wit. Many miracles and moments of wild divine providence were attributed to him, and he's someone worth getting to know and to know about. Today in 1897, Irish author Bram Stoker published what would be his most famous work about one of the most famous characters in literary history the Count Dracula. On that day, many, many of the tropes about vampires were invented. While folk legends about immortal undead demons have existed for a long, long time in a multitude of forms, from vampires to werewolves to mummies, the modern idea of the vampire who is burned by sunlight and is killed by a wooden stake through the heart and has an aversion to garlic and crucifixes and holy water is entirely modern. Stoker's novel wasn't a bestseller, though. After all, the gothic horror genre was still about 20 years away from its heyday. Stoker died in 1912, just as Gaston LaRue's Phantom of the Opera was being published, and six years before Frankenstein exploded on the scene. Ten years after his death, though, a playwright named F.W. Murnau adapted Dracula without permission to the stage in a show called Nosferatu. Stoker's widow sued, and book sales went through the roof. Now the character is an essential part of the Western literary canon. Today is the birthday of two of the great character actors of all time. In 1907, John Wayne was born in Winterset, Iowa. His nickname was The Duke. He was that guy in westerns until he became that guy in war movies. He was the man's man, the embodiment of American self-sufficiency and spirit. He was the ideal singing cowboy. He was the shooter who saves the day. He was the warrior fighting for truth, justice, and the American dream. Offstage, he lived by the same principles and was vocal in the anti-communism efforts of the 40s and 50s. In 1960, he famously said of his newly elected president, John F. Kennedy, I didn't vote for him, but he's my president, and I hope he does a good job. In 1913, English character actor Peter Cushing was born today. And while Cushing is best known to younger American audiences as Grand Moff Tarkin from Star Wars, he was a hugely popular stage and screen actor and the centerpiece of the Hammer Productions team, which reinvented horror films in the 60s and 70s. Cushing died in 1994, and yet his image and likeness was recreated for the Star Wars movie Rogue One, which was itself a remarkable bit of CGI combined with voice acting, combined with astounding character presence. The Catholic Daily Journal is supported by listeners like you. For more information, visit catholicunderground.com. Until next time, be on the lookout for the Lord at work in your life.